Hi, in this video we're going to be doing a BIOS update for the Chewy HiBook. Now I haven't had wide reports of this happening but my HiBook has developed a problem where if the battery gets under about 65% it just turns off um, and obviously that's not very useful if it's not very reliable. So I contacted Chewy to tell them of this issue and they actually came back to me really quickly, fair dues to them. Um, they sent me a new BIOS over for me to try and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to install it and see whether it fixes the problem. So what I'm going to run through is exactly how to do the update, exactly what you'll need and go through the steps and see if it works. So in order to do the update you will need some form of keyboard um, I've got a wireless one, a OCG hub to connect uh, normal USB type A connectors and you will also need a memory card, well sorry a USB memory stick. It is easier if you get one that's under 32 gigabytes um, unless you're formatting it on a older machine because Windows 10 only allows you to format FAT32 um, if it's 32 gigabytes or under. So what you'll need to do is download the BIOS first. Now I will leave a link in the description of this video of where to get it. I don't know whether it's on the Chewy website yet or whether they just sent it to me. If, if so, then I'll host it somewhere, but the link will take you straight to it. So you download the file. It will be a raw file. You then need to extract that and that extracts to another folder which contains these files. What you then need to do is you need to get those files onto the memory stick. So the way you do that, plug in your memory stick and then what you need to do is you need to format this stick. So you click on format and then you choose FAT32, not XFAT, not NTFS, FAT32. You choose default allocation size, mine has done it to this because it's already been formatted. And then your volume label will be Win. P E so W I N P E and then format and that will then format the drive and then all you need to do is you need to copy the contents from the downloaded file over to the root folder of the memory stick and that is all you need to do make sure you copy the little folder over the EFI folder or it won't boot then what you need to do, turn off the tablet. Actually, I'll do it this way. Now this is the crucial part. So once it turns off, you will then need to turn it on and keep pressing the F7 key. Now it will be a little bit more difficult on um, devices that use um, a wireless connection because the wireless connection there is a bit of a delay connecting but we'll see how it goes so let's go ahead and power it on so keep pushing down F7 and then that'll load the boot manager now the boot manager is the other way around uh, but what you want to do is you want to go down so click down to your memory stick and then you want to click enter to run. So then all you want to do is let it run and I'll speed up the process and come back when it's done. So it will reach this point and then you'll just get a little bit of text down here and it'll say FS4 and it won't let you go any further. So you can click enter all you like, it's not going to do anything. So then all you want to do is turn off the tablet again, just hold it down. And eventually it will turn off. So we'll just leave it for just a second.
So this is doing the same as what it did with my Chewy HI-12. It'll cycle through a few times, so it'll keep turning on and off. Don't worry, don't disconnect anything. Um, keep it on power, because it's just going through that BIOS and making sure it's all set up. And there we go, so click down, which will boot into Windows. And there we have it. So now we have the BIOS updated, everything seems to be working. And only time will tell if it's fixed my battery problem. But Chewy assure me that this should be the fix for what I need. So there you have it. So if this video was useful to you, then please leave me a like. Um, if you're having the same issues or something similar, then please leave your um, comments in the description uh, in the section below um, and I'll gladly see what I can do to help. Thank you.